Our topic today, Alien Invasion in the Matrix. Do Archons control and manipulate human beings and their consciousness? These and other exciting questions we will discuss today. Have fun! Many of you already have heard the term Archons. In our opinion, this is watered down and messed up too much. One says that the Archons are the reptiles, the others say they are parasites. These affect human consciousness and human mind. Still others say that these are shadow beings and much more. Now, we won't let you know what we have experienced and what we have seen and won't crystallize out the main points, to show you better. Because we differentiate between those who created the matrix, for example the creator gods, and the beings that actually access our minds and manipulate consciousness. Control consciousness and the reptilian practically the henchman of the Matrix creator. So the Archons are mostly classified in three ways. This is also thrown together with pleasure, or it is often mixed with each other. First of all, as parasites, they are connected to the mind and influence the mind. Then they often are equated with reptiles who should have created the matrix. Finally, there is the definition that the Archons are simply demons. So, these are three common definitions of the Archons. You can now put all three in one pot or you can also classify them. The matrix manufacturers on the other hand, I would say, whatever these are the reptiles now, is still very uncertain. So, some believe that the reptilians are the matrix manufacturers, but that's not how we see it. Then it is assumed that the reptilians are perhaps stooge, who just work for the matrix manufacturers. We think we'll break it down a bit now. The Archons, we would say, are usually a bit like parasites. The parasites that are connected to the consciousness and influence the mind, or even represent the mind. That means everything we think day in, day out comes from the Archons. The demons, on the other hand, I would say, Let's leave the term demons for now. And who are the matrix manufacturers? We will get to that later. Anyway, we want in this video mainly deal with the Archons. So, concentrate on the Archons defined as parasites. Everyone who has read the books of Castaneda knows the old Toltecs and maybe knows something to do with the term voladores. These are parasites who control our minds. I saw them once. They are shadow-like beings. The voladores are practically above our heads. They have been your constant, loyal friend and companion since your childhood. How friendly they really are, be put aside but they have been with you practically since you were on earth. Jonathan can tell you they came here because he saw that in a heightened state of consciousness. Yes, I saw it in an experience. I have seen how these voladores or these parasites invaded the physical reality. So a dimension gap has opened it. That must have been many thousands years ago. The voladores then go through this crack, millions of them. Afterwards, this volador is connected with people's consciousness. Thenceforth, the volador influence the human mind. Respectively, they represent the reason. In our history, however, 
the voladores has developed into an ego. That's the difference. Many consider the ego to be an image. An image of yourself, without really knowing that there is actually an entity behind it. It's practically the projection of yourself. You think that's the mind or the brain or what you think. But basically it's not us. Everything you think or your emotions don't come from you. The voladores, I would say, can be compared to the archons. These are affecting the mind. Or they represent the mind. It happens in the way that they just maintain a self-image. A self-image that a person builds up in the course of his life. This self-image can only be built up with the help of memories. That means everyone defines themselves as the person they are by the memories, with the help of his life experiences that one can remember and what have been distorted in a long-term memory. The ego is practically a camouflage term that stands for the I, but basically it's not you at all. It's the awareness of, I call it the others. The others are the voladores. The camouflage term for ego or I means that you identify with the consciousness of the voladores. You want to say, you think that you are the mind and that the thoughts you think are your thoughts. But the mind is on a certain level, a level at which the voladores can act. The conceptual ego actually only shows that an identification has taken place about the self-image built up in life. And this is how you define your life. You define your own considerations and, of course, of who you are. So, the voladores are beings who maintain the self-image. They feed on consciousness and on the energy that is enriched by consciousness. How they maintain self-image is relatively simple. And they just disguise and camouflage the changes in reality that you constantly go through. So, if you are playing one aspect, one character trait and change to another aspect, you rarely notice it. That is exactly what the voladores intend. The maintain your self-image. So, our perception is structured in such a way that we change the reality several times a day, every minute. We switch from one alternative reality to the next. However, the voladores ensure that we build up a self-image. And by that, we believe that we act within the same reality. We know this from dreams, for example. For example, you go into a dream and dream one certain situation. There, you always believe that you are who you are, that you are always yourself. I also talked about it in another video. So, you cannot, within a dream, recognize who you are. And even in a dream you cannot see what reality you are in. Usually you actually only connect with the consciousness to the alternative self in the other reality in the dream. This is actually not you, but your alternative self. Of course, this is not recognized. Then you still think you are yourself from the well-known everyday reality. The voladores come flash the change into these realities. As a result, the realities in dreams appear to us as a single reality. The same thing happens when you are awake. The term individually actually means indivisible, an indivisible person. The voladores made in the state. So, that you think you are just one person, just a personality in fact. However, we are all made up of many personalities. The higher self has exposed his personalities in many different realities. That did the higher self too, 
be able to experience and save as many experiences as possible. When a personality moves through this reality, is not realizing what reality he is in right now and why he is in this reality and how all these realities are related to each other, man does not recognize the whole picture. Humans, therefore, do not recognize the whole puzzle. That's on what the Volador's intent. That you don't accumulate your awareness that you would accumulate by visiting and noticing other realities. This accumulated energy is then passed to the Volador's. While we cannot keep this energy or these perceptions, this awareness of the other realities to ourselves. Now, you are probably asking yourself the question, how did you get here and why you are here?